My name is Rosalinde Goselink. I work for Wageningen Livestock Research in the Department of Animal Nutrition, based in Wageningen. But today we are in Leeuwarden, where our dairy research farm is based, uh, dairy campus. Feed efficiency in, uh, in dairy cattle is a very important parameter, not just relating to the, the dairy cow performance, but also to sustainability. There are different ways to describe feed efficiency, and the, the parameter we use is the amount of fat and protein corrected milk um, produced based on each kilogram of dry matter feed intake. Next to the, the basics of feed efficiency, it also relates to protein efficiency, which is quite important at the moment, specifically here in the Netherlands. We are really focusing on how to increase our nitrogen efficiency and reduce the nitrogen losses like ammonia and nitrates. And another effect of feed efficiency is also on methane. Um, methane is produced by every dairy cow, um, but by improving the amount of milk produced per kilogram of dry matter, we also try to reduce the amount of methane produced per liter of milk. In the coming summer and over the coming two years actually, we are running a, a long-term trial focusing on low protein diets. Related to the nitrogen issues we have, um, we want to see how low we can go with, with protein in dairy cow diets still managing a good production, but also cow health. So we also have a look at um, the potential effects it could have on cow health. We're running this trial for two lactations to see really also the long-term effects of feeding less protein than we are used to here in the Netherlands. We're also looking at the efficiency of grazing, so how much milk can we produce per kilogram of fresh grass. So we're running uh, three different groups. One group is fully grazing outside, grazing the fresh grass by themselves. A second group is housed here inside and they are fed fresh grass in the bins to see if there's a difference between actual grazing of a cow compared to eating fresh grass inside. And a third group is fed a grass silage, a basic uh, conserved grass silage. We're not only looking at feed efficiency here, but also at methane emissions. So are there any difference between methane production between the three treatments, the groups of cows feeding on the grass? Also use the milk sample composition. So we have weekly milk samplings here to determine fat and protein content to calculate the actual efficiency of our diets. We're also now looking more and more into the effect of young stock rearing and how the management of the young stock could affect feed efficiency in their later productive time as an adult dairy cow. For example, we're now looking into also specifically the microbiome and the rumen health of, of young calves and see if we could influence that already as a young age and how it could be affecting also their feed intake, feed efficiency during their productive stage as an adult dairy cow after they turn two years old.